Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond's, Desmond's Donders. The Hermitage Castle. The Hermitage. Part of the Rebus Trail. We're not far back over the border and definitely in Rebus country. We're going to be moving on today as there's not a lot to see here with it being closed. We're at Hermitage Castle. The park up is a, an extended lay-by but it's a quiet-ish single track road with not a lot of traffic except the tree lorries. This is the car park and there in the distance is the castle and in the foreground Lindsay cleaning headlights. There's a river at the bottom of the uh, valley and we need to cross the bridge to get to the bridge to get to the castle. We're not going to be able to visit today. It's closed. I suspect you know the reason why. Take a look at the river. I suspected the chapel and castle are both closed. The castle through the trees. This is about as close as we're going to get. Until of course I fly the drone. Hermitage Castle is a semi-ruined castle in the border regions of Scotland. It is under the care of Historic Scotland. The castle has a reputation both from its history and its appearance as one of the most sinister and atmospheric castles in Scotland. It is thought that the name derives from Old French L'Amitage meaning guardhouse. The castle was known as the guardhouse of the bloodiest valley in Britain and the strength of Lidsdale. Hermitage Castle was supposedly built by one Nicholas de Solis around 1240 in a typical Norman Mott and Bailey pattern. It stayed in his family until approximately 1320 when his descendant William de Solis forfeited it because of suspected witchcraft and the attempted regicide of King Robert I of Scotland. 
In 1338, the then incumbent Englishman Sir Ralph de Neville was besieged by Sir William Douglas, the Knight of Lidsdale, known as the Flower of Chivalry. James VI granted the castle to Sir Walter Scott of Beeclew, a notorious border reaver, warden of the Western Marches, keeper of Lidsdale and leader of the daring and infamous attack on Carlisle Castle to rescue William Armstrong of Kinmont. The story of the chapel is a little obscure. It is thought that Nicholas de Solis built a hunting lodge nearby in about 1240, the predecessor of the later Hermitage Castle. Yet there appear to be records of the presence of a chapel on the site from as early as 1180. This suggests the chapel might have predated the hunting lodge and certainly the later Hermitage Castle. The chapel is oblong in shape and measures some 45 by 18 feet within stone walls that are around 3 foot thick. There is no indication that the chapel was rebuilt or expanded after its first construction, which leaves open the question of when it went out of use. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.